I belonged to a baseball club called the Barracudas in the Bronx. There were clubs and there weren't gangs. Now they're called gangs. Uh, there was this kid who used to hang around who wanted to play ball. He wasn't a very good athlete, but and the other guys didn't want him to play. I said, come on, let him play one game. Well, how could it hurt us? Anyway, this kid was so grateful, and he found out that I, this turned out to be Stanley Kubrick. Uh, he uh, found out I was a musician. He saved his pennies. Uh, he made a short, which was actually quite good. And I think I was the only musician he knew. He said, hey, Jerry, can you, you know how to uh, write and conduct movie music? Sure, I said. I do that all the time. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I spent the next three or four months going to like 20 movies a day to learn what to do. And uh, it worked. The, the movie was a short. It was bought by RKO Pathé. Uh, he got work from it. I got work from it. And uh, that was my break. What did you learn from watching all those films at once, really? Oh, what music worked, what I liked how I thought a scene should be scored. There were no books uh, about movie music then. There were no courses. I taught for 18 years uh, the master class in film conducting and composing at UCLA. There were no courses like that in those days. You went to movies. And um, you see, well, um, how did a Bernard Herrmann handle the scene? Well, now, uh, he's writing music that doesn't quite match the scene. Oh, he's working for some inner content, uh, you know, what the people are thinking about. That's one of the lessons you learn. You learn when you start, when do you start the music and how important the start of music is. When does the music end and why does it end there? All those things you have to learn and, you know, and they're factored into your composing. And we learned that by going to movies and saying, oh, no, I, he shouldn't have started there or this is too obvious or this is too subtle. It didn't make the point. And you, know, you build up uh, your own inner repertoire of what works and what doesn't work. So that was my schooling. Well, talk about Stanley Kubrick. Did he, how did he tell you what he wanted in terms of the music, or did he just let you go? At the beginning, before he became Stanley Kubrick, uh, he just let me go. And uh, he liked the first score. It was very effective, and it did the job and all that. And uh, second, core, second score, he began to get more ideas about music, and then he became you know, more uh, demanding about certain things. And uh, by the third score... Uh, we were already arguing. <laughs> the fourth and fifth score, there were knockdown battles. But by that time, he had developed a taste and a style. And uh, he was a hard guy to argue with. He was very bright and very talented. And uh, we, uh, we, we came to a consensus, uh, generally. But like I said, at the beginning, it was easy. I went my own way. And then at the, the, at the, by the time of the fifth picture, Paths of Glory, uh, I had to justify every note which is exciting, and I suppose the way it should be. You know, it was his movie, and uh, it had to pass his idea of musical muster. Did you have a style at that time? Yeah. Yes, I did. Can you care to describe it? Yes, I can. Uh, do you know the movie The Killing, the, the racetrack robbery with Sterling Hayden? Uh, and and I, I, I liked tonality. I didn't like the 12-tone, you know, uh, uh, kind of composing, the serial approach to composing, which kind of eliminates uh, the thematic material and the harmonic uh, material as we generally know it. I like that. I like the power of the natural sounds of, of tunes and themes. I wanted to hear that, but I wanted to have as much power as possible. So instead of doing uh, traditional 19th century themes and accompaniments, I used uh, the main theme of the killing was kind of my trademark. It, it turned into it, and still to some extent is. It was a rhythmic clash or confrontation. I had half of the orchestra playing a four figure. The other half of the orchestra played a three figure. When you play them together, it's like this. Um, and uh, that's what Stanley loved about that movie. You know, it had people on the edge of their chair from the beginning of the movie to the end. And that sort of is my was my style, kind of a, a, a powerful, relentless kind of approach, which in a lot of movies that's effective, not in other movies. You know. uh, I also use a lot of folk music uh, in my music, especially like Roots, for example, which is almost 40% you know, folk music. So that's sort of another trademark of mine.